So now it's time to move on to integrals. Uh, and I know that integrals aren't the most fun thing to do. They're much more difficult than derivatives. So we're not going to spend too much time on them. Uh, but I do want you to have a basic idea of what an integral is and you know, know how to do some of the most basic integrals. So what is an integral? The mathematical problem we're trying to solve is we're trying to find the area under a curve. Um, so you can see here I've drawn some you know weird kind of shaped curve. And if we so if we draw, if we split this up into a bunch of rectangles that are all the same width, um, and when I say all the same width, uh, I mean you have to imagine that I did this properly and that these are all the same width. I happen to have not drawn a very good function for doing that. Um, so use your imagination to know that this distance is delta t and that's the same as this distance delta t. Okay, hopefully you can follow me on that. I apologize for my uh, lack of drawing abilities here. Okay, so how does this help us find the area underneath the curve? Well, we can find the area of one rectangle um, because we know that that's just going to be, for a single rectangle, it's going to be the velocity at that point. So if this is t, the height of that is velocity. The width is delta t. And we hopefully remember that the area of a, tri of a rectangle is the height times the width. So now if we want to find the area um, for the whole curve, this is just the sum of the number of rectangles. So in this case I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rectangles. So n in this case would be seven um, times vti delta t, where again each of these spaces is delta t. And then I would call this t1, t2, t3, you know, etc. Um, and so that's so if I sum all these together, that's the area um, under the curve. So what calculus really adds to this is you say is we say that the integral from t0 to t um, tn. Um, is f of t, well in this case velocity, so v of t dt is the limit as delta t goes to zero. So in other words I'm making the spacing go to zero. So what does that mean for the number of rectangles? means n is going to go to infinity. The sum of i from 1 to n, b of t sub i, delta t. So in other words, we're make, if we make these rectangles have an infinitesimally small width, you know, so small that v's essentially is, even in some of the biggest changes, isn't changing on it, then um, we're going to have you know, an infinite number of those and that's going to actually give us what the area um, inside the curve is. And that's what an integral really is, um, you know, mathematically. Uh, so in the next couple of videos we'll talk about what it actually means physically and how, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, give you, give you the integrals that I expect you to know.